if you've seen some of these YouTube videos that uh, people have done where they basically re re you know re we've done deserts into oasis i mean it actually changes the changes the climate it creates a new climate in the region animals insects uh creatures of all sorts start start uh you know attracting they're they're attracted to water and, and green lush growth and the oxygen and all that so it's it's doable. People have done it, and we're going to be doing this in Baja for in the, for the start. Uh, another way of putting it is green belt. There, there have been projects, ongoing projects, green belt projects in Africa. One which where they're going from east to west and basically planting trees to uh, at the border of the Sahara Desert. Again, to bring back uh, some sort of, you know, sense with the planet, more oxygen, and, and give the, the habitat for the animals and creatures and people, you know, for for their needs. So it's doable, and we're doing it. And besides just the environmental picture, or Part of this, we have the bigger, even bigger picture, as we've been talking about. We have the bigger, bigger picture, which is to become more aware, because we are multidimensional. We have more, in terms of what we see with life. It's not just nature and the Earth planet, but there's more life levels and layers to this creation, what we call creation. So we will be helping others to understand this, guide them uh, through the process. And like I read before, the New new, new Home School and the Nations United University and then into the Vessel Project and the businesses and such. So there's, there's a way we can bring people in and make sense for them so they have a real purpose in life instead of just wandering around and growing old and stupid and not knowing where they're going to go after they die or translate. And we have also another special guest here today. Oh, go ahead, Ariana. Yeah, I just was wondering if you could repeat that address again. Well, this is turfclub.club. Okay. And it's not, yeah, it's turf like uh, astroturf. Uh-huh. Turf t u r f c l u b dot c l u b. Uh huh. Yeah. And we're going to have and the University also, University. I mean, uh, yes. the all solar research vessel. <laughs> yes, that that will be the first uh, one of the first big projects too. Uh, along with the rainforest, probably the rainforest will come first because we can do we can start that right away. We'll have support of the community after we explain this and, and you know pass it along to the people in this case Baja and how how you know they can benefit from it and it, it'll be everything for everybody. Right now it's everything for the few, for the elites. So it doesn't make sense. And that's why people are struggling. People are in poverty and they lack they lack the resources to survive here because people are hoarding, you know, they're not sharing, they're not they're not uh really being honest with, with the public. I'm not talking about socialism or anything like that. It's just just making sense. And like the indigenous communities where people supported each other and there wasn't really any poverty or lack for anybody because if anybody needed anything, they'd be provided for. So, and as I said, there is a special guest here, another special guest, and his name's Ed Word. Read Ed. Yes, he's right here next to me. And he's also 
part of the New Presentation Foundation. He's been uh, also, he has his own radio show now, and he's been working with us too closely with uh, getting these projects going. So I'll have him share what uh, was going on with him these days. And here's Ed. Awesome. Thank you, Val. <laughs> and hello, everybody Hi. up there. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Hi, Tim. Hi, Ariana. <laughs> hello, everybody. So, uh, yeah, it's good to be with you guys. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I've been looking at some of the information uh, that Val is sharing with everybody. And uh, I tell you, you guys, I just get excited about it. I mean, the adventure. <laughs> it's like this adventure is unlimited. And it's just so exciting. Um You know, and for me, you know, it's about kind of just taking it step by step and allowing it to unfold. And, um, you know, um, my formal training, uh, I do have a degree in biology, so that's kind of my formal training. And uh, it's so ironic, you know, how this comes around right into my life. being involved in uh, uh, developing uh, these uh, self-sustaining uh, food forests that Henry Draper is working on and Kelsey is working on, and we're all working on all these amazing projects, uh, the all-solar uh, research uh, vessel and all this good stuff. So um, I'm glad to be aboard with everybody and uh, – You know, it feels like we're all, you know, I feel like I'm just leading myself straight into the future and adventure and some good stuff. And I just want to invite everybody that feels uh, a connection to this. uh, For me, it's kind of like an environmental awareness just um, tuning into the energy of this isness that if you can still yourself, you can connect right into it. And um, it don't need no words to describe it. And uh, everybody gets to uh, experience it uh, individually. And um, it's just been an a amazing, amazing uh, life that I've lived so far. And uh, what's next? Oh, my goodness, all these projects and all this adventure next for all of us. And... Um, it's calling you. It's calling me. And um, I'm going to turn the phone back over to my brother Val here. And um, uh, I'm just happy to chime in. And thank you, uh, Tim, for standing up and creating your uh, show, going live. And Ariana, Val, everybody for contributing, everybody that has contributed. Um, these these are amazing um, times that we're in. These are amazing events. This moment that I have right here, right now, doesn't get to be duplicated. It's It's right here, right now. So uh, let me turn this back over to Val. I guess I I talked plenty here. So uh, I invite you all to come on aboard and see what kind of adventure you want to get into and what's calling you in your own heart, your own connection to the isness because I just see unlimited all right, here you go, Val. Thanks, Ed. That's great. Thank you, Edward. 
Okay, so we have one more thing. I, before I pass it to Tim again here, I wanted to, again, update everybody on the candid, mm-hmm. candidacy of uh, Kelsey Lynn Brown, who is running for president in 2020. She is the in the new non-party system for U.S., for us. She's running, uh, and I'll read her just a little bit of what she promotes here. Kelsey is here to promote and support the all-natural environment with the wonderful worldwide educators' implementation of total universal rainforest for all of us as the children and the students of the world step up to make sense of real survival, real purpose, real focus, and begin to relate to a real life while here supporting all life on earth. And her website is to, excuse me, new, N-E-W, the numeral two, and then party, P-A-R-T-Y, on o n dot my strikingly dot com so it's new two party on dot my strikingly dot com it looks like there's a slash after com but she's uh running on the wise and giggly party and this is very real you can you can write her in, and let's see what we get with this, because uh, the candidates so far that I've seen, uh, and we have tried to contact a couple of them, the ones that are remotely or, or even talking about the environment, which is rare, rare, but there are a couple. We've tried to contact them for interviews to come on this show and other shows that we've had to, to discuss the environment, because we feel this is crucial because this is our survival and look here Kelsey LeBillian Brown is actually addressing this directly so heck I'm going to vote for her so I don't know about you Tim well I've never voted so I don't know about (laughs) voting you mean the president of the United States yeah, Kelsey could be. It would be a different world. Wow, I thought this was just for the Universal University. Well, we'll see where this goes. We'll see here, what uh, happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If That's enough people that. get behind this. I mean, this system in the United States, it was created out of nothing. It was created yeah. through agreement, so... We'll get some agreement going and see where it goes. Well, don't we have to advertise more? Yeah, anything more? can happen. What? Don't we have to advertise more? Well, I gave you the website. That's a yeah. start. Okay. And we'll give yep. you the signs. You can go marching down the street with the signs. Okay. okay. Campaign okay. signs. <laughs> give you the pins and bumper stickers and banners. Okay. We'll yeah, it going. could take off like a fire, huh? Yeah. Uh, you never know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, well, I'd like to mention. Is, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. go ahead. So any of these projects oh, are, I mean, yeah. the wonderful, wonderful uh, ideas that could take off. But again, it's agreement. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'd like to read a note about these projects and having a purpose in our life, WWWE are us, universal survivors, as are the birds and animals who do not harm the all-natural environment supporting everyone here. It is... It, it more than makes sense to us that each person on this planet Earth should be more than willing to support what actual, actually supports everyone here. Mm-hmm. 
instead of having an attitude of ingratitude. Now is the time to grow up and support what has always supported you, the real you. So I guess that this is in development right now, that uh, maybe one person tells another and another person tells another, and I'd see it more as the children, as they become aware, because they see that their air isn't clean and their water isn't pure and their food is being messed with. They're, they're getting so used to um, all this GMO stuff that is being manufactured on earth as healthy food. Besides the vaccines, they see what happens to certain children when they get vaccinated, a whole bunch of different vaccines at once. And there's lots of stuff happening and the children will be coming aware through this new presentation. It will be a big thing through the um, homeschooling. Once they convince their um, so-called adults that um, it sounds better what's being presented by the new presentation than by the existing educational systems that were created to keep people dumbed down and controlled to be slaves, to do their nine to five jobs on this planet and um, think that getting the weekend off is time to celebrate being alive while they exist here in this puff of smoke life that seems like um, it, once we're born and we're here and then all of a sudden we're gone so a person has to find out for themselves what's important now in their life. So this new presentation is being offered to check out for yourself and you decide if it's something that's important and, and gives you a real purpose in your life to be involved in with. Unless anyone else has something they'd like to mention about the new presentation. I guess we've given the idea or the a little bit of the information for people to be able to get in touch if they're really trying and find out what it's all about for themselves. So unless somebody has something else they'd like to say, we'll sing the new you, you, you. You, 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 new, you, 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 new, you, 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 new. Thanks, everybody, for trying, helping spread this information about the new presentation. We'll see you. Thank, Thank you, Tim. You. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for making it happen yeah. again. Well,